On today's episode of Animal Diaries, we're going to be hatching out some baby turtles. Not too long ago, a friend of mine found some baby turtle eggs in their yard and asked me if I wanted to try hatching them. Naturally, I figured I'd give it a shot, since the eggs tend to be a snack for anything that would find them, like birds, armadillos, ants, pretty much any animal you can think of here. We knew that they were some species of slider, so either red-eared sliders or river cooters given the area. It was kind of fun to wonder what kind of turtles would hatch, not knowing exactly what they were. Kind of like a mystery box for turtles. Alright guys, we are back in the reptile room, and we've gotten some eggs. Uh, I want to show you guys them right here. I actually just leave them in the garage to incubate right down here in a little dark low spot. A friend of mine actually gave me these. Hey, I'm not sure if they're river cooter or red eared slider eggs, but they're really big. Really cool. I, I normally have very good success with reptile eggs. I normally hatch pretty much any that I get. That brown staining there, that actually isn't the eggs going bad as you might see with many other reptile eggs. This is actually just the turtle eggs getting kind of stained. Some eggs will turn a light yellowish color as they age. And uh, that doesn't mean they necessarily went bad. Sometimes you just have to leave them. I am definitely no professional reptile breeder. I just get to hatch eggs every once in a while. Uh, there are actually some really good channels on YouTube to watch when it comes to uh, hatching eggs. One of them being like Snake Discovery. They do a lot of good stuff with reptile breeding. After a couple of months, the baby turtles finally started hatching over the course of a few days. And they turned out to be river cooters. These are a local species. And while they're super abundant, I'd much rather hatch these than red-eared sliders. The shells of these eggs aren't leathery like a snake egg, but they aren't super hard like a bird egg. The outside cracks, kind of like a potato chip, so it's a soft and easy to break out of egg, and it's kind of brittle. They start by making a small hole in the egg with a temporary egg tooth on the front of their face, and they slowly work their way out of the egg. You'll notice that some turtles have a little orange bulb on their stomach, and that's actually the egg yolk. Basically, they won't be eating for quite some time. The egg yolk is slowly absorbed into their body while they're still trying to figure out how to move around. Looks kind of weird, but I guess it works. Alright guys, I was in here dealing with all the critters today. And they are pretty much fully hatched. Yay, look at all the sliders! All but, I think, two or three eggs. Oh, here's one that's still hatching. No game, he's still coming out the egg. It's okay to handle them right now. They're uh, perfectly healthy. It looks like pretty much all of them are hatching. This is the slowest one right now. Oh, this is another one. So there's one, two, there's three eggs that still need to be hatched, but for the most part, it looks like they've all hatched. Look at them, they're so squishy. They're gonna be staying in this container for the next couple of days until their shells are perfectly solidified, and that's when they'll be able to go into the water. Now, the one thing you gotta understand about baby turtles is they are absolutely pathetic. It takes them almost two days to fully hatch out of their eggs, and even once they hatch, their shells are squishy and they can barely move on land. And even once they get to the water, if they don't have something to hold on to, they will just drown. You see why I decided to hatch them here? If they're given time, these turtles become practically indestructible to anything natural. So all I'm doing is getting these turtles past this brief, difficult part of their life before releasing them. While all those baby turtles are flailing about trying to figure out basic motor functions, I went ahead and set up a small outdoor pond for them to live in. It's got a shallow section, a deep section, and most importantly, sunlight and food. These water hyacinths are good not only to graze on, but they also work like swim floaties for baby turtles. Without these, the babies would exhaust themselves trying to swim too much and eventually drown. This will be a good place for them to practice everything they need to learn while their shells harden before I go ahead and release them for real. All right, guys, here is the outdoor animal area right here. It's actually kind of coming along. We got the flying squirrels, new setup, which is still kind of in construction here. I'm still messing around with it before we put them in it. Got the snapping turtles, and I just stuck this pond right in the middle of everything. And this is going to be our little baby turtle nursery for the time being. Obviously, in the future, I'll throw other stuff in it. Uh, heck, this might even become the Terrapin's outdoor enclosure, because there's kind of got jacked by another turtle. But um, Baby turtles, as soon as they're ready, are going to go in this. They've got water hyacinths, it's going to be full of fish, tadpoles, frogs, everything that the little guys will need to survive. And uh, we're going to grow them up just a little bit 
before deciding what to do with them, but this is going to be their home. And as soon as they're ready to go in it, we're going to bring them out here and put them in the water. Yeah, I got all our baby river cooters cleaned up, ready to go. They're ready to go into their new little home. I kind of got it set up with lots of little fish and grasses, so they'll get to go straight to eating, and hopefully they do well. Now time to see how they like it. Baby turtles are fairly curious animals, so they should enjoy exploring their outdoor setup for the time being. But the most important thing is that they're safe from predators and other things in their environment that would threaten them at this stage in life. And you can see that they're starting to get the hang of swimming around. They actually pick up very, very quick, and pretty soon these guys will be fully ready to be released. And uh, while I would show the video of me releasing these baby turtles, I kind of forgot to film it. Yeah, I kind of just decided a week later to go and release them. I forgot my camera at home, and I released them anyway. So just know I did release them. Hopefully a lot more will survive than uh, normal. But yeah, I'm sorry I didn't film that. Please don't hurt me.